meal is brought to you by Miracle Whip. This is going to be the Great Depression recipe, and it comes from my grandma, Fanny. I bet you're wondering, Miracle Whip in the Depression? Before I share with you the recipe that is a tradition of ours here in eastern Pennsylvania, I thought I would share a little bit of history about Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip, hmm, I bet you all remember it, but I bet you didn't know that it was invented in 1933. The Great Depression was a severe worldwide economic depression that took place mostly in the 1930s beginning in the United States. The timing of the Great Depression varied across nations and countries. It started in 1929 and lasted till 1930s. In 1933, Miracle Whip was invented as a sweetener to flavor alternatives to mayonnaise, but it contained few extra ingredients that the FDA says weren't supposed to be in mayonnaise, such as sugar, paprika, and garlic powder. A few dishes, and then today I'm going to make egg and olive. Now, a lot of people have never heard of egg and olive. An egg and olive is egg and olive sandwiches, and we love making egg and olive. I made it a long time ago and I got such a feedback on it. People couldn't believe it. I have so many eggs. I still can't believe how many eggs I'm getting on a daily basis. It's just unreal. What a blessing it's been. Right now I have four dozen eggs. And when you make egg and olive or egg sandwiches, it is an easy way to use up so many eggs. So I'm going to wash some of these globes I have because these globes are really dirty. And the cleaner you keep your oil lamp globes, the better light you have, which makes a lot of sense. So basically to make egg and olive, all we're going to do is we are going to hard boil some eggs. Let me get these dishes put away and then we'll make some eggs. All right, so these eggs are from November the 27th, so they're about a month old. So they need to get used up. And I'm going to show you how, I'm sure all of you know by now, how you can tell if your eggs are fresh or if they're too beyond being able to use. So we have fresh eggs, then we have eggs perfect for hard boiling, and then we have eggs that are just spoiled. <laughs> So spoiled eggs are going to float to the top. We can't use them. Eggs that are a little bit older are going to stand up on their end. And that's what we want for hard boiled eggs. Because a little bit of an older egg is an egg that's easier to shell. And so we like having those kind of eggs. So we're just gonna fill enough of water that it covers the eggs. Now all we're going to do is put them on the stove and once they start boiling we're going to turn it down and then we're going to wait 15 minutes. Eggs on the stove, I'm going to finish cleaning up the kitchen and then it'll be time for lunch and that's what we're going to have for lunch today is egg and olive. Egg and olive sandwiches. Yum yum. I know a lot of people are going to turn their nose up at it but it is actually very good. And we're going to be using the same base that we would use for deviled eggs. So it just makes a good sandwich. Oh, it's time to get this kitchen cleaned up. Woohoo! Hubby's gonna be home soon and I gotta get things working. Oh, is our olives and now we're gonna just add the eggs. So I'm gonna add a dozen of eggs and these are hard boiled eggs. All we do is we chop them up. We leave them quite large, but you can chop them up as fine as you want them to be. This makes a really frugal lunch. You can also eat this with a salad. This is something we grew up on. This is Pennsylvania Dutch. A lot of people never heard about it. <laughs> a lot of people say that they use pickles, like a sweet pickle with it, but this is how we make it. So it's a jar of olives and it's about a dozen of eggs give or take however you want 
I make this so often that I really don't use measurements anymore. Now I did more than a dozen eggs and I will have these hard boiled eggs for other things this week. This makes a lot. Now you want to eat this probably within four to five days. You don't want to let it go for a week. To that we're going to add about a cup of mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. My husband likes Miracle Whip. He does not like mayonnaise. So we use about a cup of mayonnaise. tablespoon of mustard, a pinch of celery seed, or two pinches. We're going to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar and this vinegar also has some rosemary in it. And now we're going to add a little bit of sugar, a little spoon of sugar. Now we're going to mix this up really well and I'll take my wooden spoon and just chop it up just a little bit better as I mix it. This is one way that you can use up a lot of eggs if you have an overabundance of eggs. Now I do not add any salt because olives are salty and I really didn't add any pepper as well. I really don't need it, but you can add uh, pepper to it. Now I'll give it a taste test and see if it needs anything. Mmm, that is just so good. Mmm, that is perfect. Now I'll get a roll and I'll show you how we eat it. There you go. It's an egg and olive sandwich. I hope you give it a try. It is my Pennsylvania Dutch heritage and we love eating it. Yum, yum. What a day we had today. Woo! So I'm sitting back once again and I'm going to do a little relaxing. Put my slippers on and today what I'm reading is the casserole queens. And I'm doing some studying on some recipes for an upcoming video and I'm also reading the Heyday, the Heyday Country Market Cookbook. It's got a lot of neat unique ideas. Can't wait to share them with you. So take care everyone. We'll see you guys. Bye! <laughs> From Fanny's Diary, we're gonna start on December the 28th, 1943 and Fanny writes, Today I helped to butcher our hog. Up at Smith's, we dressed it at 440 pounds. On December 29, 1943, Fanny writes, I started another dress for Marion and I cleaned the chicken. And on December 31, 1943, it's very faded because Fanny wrote in pencil. I'm going to try to decipher what it says. She says it's raining in the morning and then it cleared in the afternoon. And then we went to Samuel Unk's for supper. Hmm, I wonder what 1944 is going to hold for Fanny. I guess we're just going to have to wait because the diary starts on January the 3rd. I'm guessing a couple pieces of her diary got lost. Oh no! But don't worry, on January the 3rd, we're going to start with 1943 and the life of my grandma, Fanny. If you like videos like these, I hope you take the time to see my other videos that I made about old-fashioned living and just about memories of years gone by.